Hey guys, it's Jet888 again. This could be considered a part two of the video I just put out on August 1st regarding Paxlovid. And I just wanted to add a couple more things. And I apologize, my sound at the first video was kind of funky. It seems like they don't really want us to hear certain things. And I did um, give this link in the first video and I'll do it here too. So in this document, they it's interesting because they say that um, this Paxlovid is to be treat people with mild to moderate COVID. And down here they say including hospitalization or death under the pandemic special access route, which would be SAR. Now that also sounds like that word, doesn't it? Which anagram is that word? And we see a lot of that, the star, um, all over the place. I think that's one of the codes, but we'll get to that later. This was revised February 28th, 2022. And what I found was interesting. I think a lot of us knew this, but this says, Report side effects to Pfizer Singapore. Pfizer Singapore at the contact information provided below. There you go. If you want to report anything, sgp.aer reporting, that's AER and then e porting at Pfizer.com. Or you can call 1 800 101 101. Yep, there's the 101. Isn't that funny? There's another 101 ID card. 28, as in February 28 as in Kabbalah in the Jewish Gematria and Kabbalah in the simple Gematria. 17, 1, 7, and 17 spelled out is NWO. I think it's funny too because 282, as in 28 February, is Rothschild and 999. Oh, and here's a good one, robot. We're going to see enough of those coming up. And 282 in English Gematria is beast. I know these are all just silly coincidences, but they're funny. Okay, so this document it says Paxlovid has not undergone the same type of review as an HSA approved medicine. In issuing an interim authorization, the HSA may may determine, among other things, that based on the totality of scientific evidence available, which is what I showed you in the last video, right? We looked at the scientific um, research studies of the ingredients used in uh, Paxlovid. Um, it is reasonable to believe, reasonable to believe that the product may may be effective for treating or preventing COVID-19. Didn't they say that about the uh, first jabby robber? That it may, or well, that it was for prevention, but we've turned out to find that it's not. But anyhow, the product may. So looking at the definition may, uh, let's see, to express possibility, the storm may turn into a hurricane. So Cambridge's May definition is there may be other problems that we don't know about. And the meaning in Britannica, this is funny. Um, have they failed? They may have. It's possible that they failed. So if you have any general questions, you can call six five six four zero three eight 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 okay so eight 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 in jewish gematria is the united states of human science experiments has the highest population of transhuman mutants hybrids and genetically altered people than any country in the entire world well that's troubling isn't it hmm okay so here's some contact information alternatively you may send them to if you have questions if you have any medical information inquiries medical information singapore 
at Pfizer.com. Product Registrant, Pfizer Private Limited, Passar Penjang Road, number 1681-82, Maple Tree Business City, Singapore. And isn't that interesting? Here's Pfizer. I'm looking at Google Maps. Opens at 8 a.m., so it must not be 8 yet because it's closed. But look at their phone number, 65-6403-8888. Remember what that means? I'll read it one more time. The United States of Human Science Experiments has the highest population of transhuman mutants, hybrids, and genetically altered people than any country in the entire world. Thanks, Pfizer. So here they are along the West Coast high, um, Highway here. Let's go check this out. So here's Singapore, Universal Studio Singapore, Wings of Time. Uh, look at that. You got a Mount Faber Park, and here's Caltrate in Singapore, and there's Pfizer. Let's go see what they look like if we can get closer. Here's a little map that which won't probably mean anything until we get closer. Well, what a beautiful, lush area. I think I don't think that's the Pfizer building. I think this is right here. I'll go try to get around the front. So here, this is about as close as I can get here. It's I think this says Maple Tree. This uh, Maple Tree. This building, but you know what I find interesting? This I think that this is the Google building. Cause I mean, God, Google. Um. Pfizer because of the way it's shaped which looks the same way in the map but what's funny you know talk about all in it together Cisco see that yep maple tree business city. anyhow that's just what they look like on the map all maxed up and I think that was them because 80 passed here and we just saw 80 and notice the curve on this building and here's Cisco and I'm looking forward to doing some stuff on Silicon Valley too but Cisco systems commonly known as Cisco's American based multinational techno technology conglomerate corporation headquartered in San Jose California integral integral growth of Silicon Valley. Yep, high technology services. That'll be maybe the next video. All right, this is really troubling, but that's beside the point. Now, when I clicked on one of those links that we just uh, looked at, this says here, also known as Paxlovid, that's her trademark, but Riton Ritonavir, which that's only half the story because remember the other half? There you go, right there. Okay, there you go. So I'm here now from their website, labelingpfizer.com, show labeling, and I was coming in as a medical um, person. And this says fact sheet for healthcare providers, emergency use authorization. You know, the governors love that. Paxlovid is not an appropriate therapeutic option based on authorized fact sheet for healthcare providers or due to potential drug interactions for which recommended monitoring would not be feasible. Paxlovid is not approved for any use, including for use as treatment of COVID. Huh, go figure that. I'll leave the link. This is on page one, one of 35 fact sheet. Paxlovid is not an appropriate therapeutic option based on the authorized fact sheet for healthcare providers or due to potential drug interactions for which recommended monitoring would not be feasible. Paxlovid is not approved for any use, including for use as treatment of COVID-19. 
Okay, I'll leave the link. Look in here real quick. Let me see. Paxlovid is not authorized for initiation of treatment in patients requiring hospitalization. Not authorized for pre-exposure or post-exposure prophylaxis or for prevention of COVID-19. Paxlovid is not authorized for use longer than five consecutive days. It may be prescribed for an individual patient by physicians, advanced practice registered nurses and physician assistants that are licensed or authorized under state law to prescribe drugs. Hmm, do you know what the uh, anagram for the word uh, drug, let's see, what leaders is dealers, drug dealers. Paxlovid. Let's see what is this sufficient? Okay, anyhow, I'll leave this link, you guys, because I'm getting long here. Okay, remember, check out page one on our right side.